what's going on everybody josh pocock here and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can easily connect perplexities api into your n8n node modules and scenarios so you can actually use perplexly to shoot search the web do research etc when you're building out your automation sequences in n8n you don't have to worry about that n8n doesn't have a native perplexity node just like how make does make.com or zapier you can do this all in n8n we're gonna dive into it let's dive right in all right so really quickly before i get in if you're not familiar with n8n it's an alternative to zapier and make.com yes there is a pricing tier here if you want them to host it I personally self-host it and once you self-host it it is open source so you don't have to pay for it which is one of the benefits and if you're using you know a lot of automations it's definitely something I would recommend looking into I did about three videos the last couple days um, the main one I would suggest on checking out is showing you how to host it on a, your own VPS all right giving you the exact command prompts etc it's a bit longer of a video it's about 30 40 minutes um, but it's gonna show you how to get set up so you don't have to worry about it in the future um, make.com i love still using make.com but um yeah this is you know here's the pricing here and if you go into make.com the good thing is they do have a native perplexity module so if i go like this for example perplexity you really have two options you can create a chat completion or make an api call which is literally the same pretty much just as an http um and yeah so that is the same thing that we're going to be doing in n8n so i'll leave the uh, perplexity um documents in the description below so you can actually go and see them as well but essentially there's really a few things that we're going to look at here so right here this is the api reference and there is literally only one um action that you can do which is chat completions all right so it makes it very simple all we're going to be doing is a post http request to this link right here https colon forward slash forward slash api dot perplexity dot ai forward slash chat forward slash completions all right um you'll see some example body parameters here different things you can add here um objects you can add different things like max tokens temperature top p return citation oh this is cool mm. so this is actually cool i like this return citations uh return images this is cool i didn't know you could do this um stream determines server so there's different options you could potentially use and if you go over here to the language you can see like the shell so you get the curl request here if you want to do this in the shell you can see the headers right here so we're going to use a header that is an accept json uh, so we're just accept json application json and then content type application json and then once we do that we're just going to go to the json right here and add this into our body within n8n so it's very simple i'm going to show you exactly how to do it from scratch so just for testing purposes i'm just uh, putting the trigger as in n8n when clicking test workflow so once we would click test workflow we'd be able to see this and what you're going to do is you're going to add an http node so i'll show you what that looks like we would just go here and click http we do an http request and we would put it to a post all right then we would go back to our perplexity documentation and we are going to grab this url right here for chat completions and we're going to paste that url here authentication so um, we will use generic credential type. Um, and then for your generic auth type, you're going to use a header auth. And then um, I could select my perplexity authorization that I already have. Just for purposes of this video, I'll show you what it looks like. So you would go create new. You can change the name here. Um, here, you would just put auth authorization in the name. And then in the value, you're just going to put bearer like that. Oh, wait, you can't see. So you're going to write bearer like that. 
and then you're gonna do a space and then you're gonna go over to your perplexity account you would have to go here and uh or go click on this the gear icon to go to your settings then you would click on api make sure you have some credits uh uploaded um so you're gonna have to buy credits i think it gives you five dollars of free credits every month so you should be good then you're gonna generate an api key these are hidden right now just for the purposes of this video you're gonna copy that api key and then when you're over here say if this was my api key like this i would just take this so it's bare with a space in between then your api key and you would just paste that for the value and then you would click save okay so i'm not going to do that we're going to close and i'm just going to use my my actual perplexity authorization okay next we are going to send some headers like i showed you so we're going to come here we are going to go here and we're going to grab accept i'm here paste in that first name come back and grab json application paste that in add another parameter same value right there and content type right here boom okay and then we're going to select send body and we're going to be sending json and specify body type is going to be using json and then we're just going to come to json here and you could just copy this so if you make changes over on this side like if i added a top p right here um maximum is one if i added a top p you can see that it actually shows over here but i'm not going to do any of that you could play around and add different stuff here and it's going to show up over here in the json we're just going to copy this and we're going to come over here and paste this into the body like so now a few different things you could change the model and if you go over into the api docs and then you click on guides and click on supported models you'll see the supported models so we got the perplexity models like Llama 3, Sonar, Small, 32K, Chat, 32K Online, 32K, and then the 7 billion parameter. So we have a 70 billion parameter and the 8 billion parameter, um, 32K, and Online and Chat. So we'll go ahead, if I'm not already using this one, we'll use this. The biggest parameter. Yeah, so we'll use the large parameter and the Online. So online allows it, of course, so you can um, you leverage search. You get, this will be really good for research research builds and stuff like that, which I'll show you more in, um, in the future on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for those builds. Um, and then there are open source models too. So if you want to use these hugging face ones like Llama 38B Instruct, 7, uh, 370B Instruct, and 87B Instruct context lengths show right here all right so i guess for the online for this one so actually it's not that bad so the online does have a bit smaller of a context length but it's not that bad and let's just see rate limits you can check out some of these uh more information here about rate limits we got right here as well as pricing so you can see the different pricing here we're at the large so where do you it's the same as the small five bucks per thousand uh, requests so pretty solid pricing and this allows you of course like i said to do online searching through the api which is useful you can't really do this uh at this quality of you know uh, research with things like chat gpt through the api and perplexity just the best i've seen for researching in general right so here we could set you could set as many as you want we're gonna set you know you can set your system role and your your message this one for example is just be precise and cons, uh, precise and concise and then role user how many stars are there in the galaxy we could change this to like um what is um something interesting that happened yesterday in the news so this will show and um tell me what date and time it 
happened with sources. So let's see how this does. So we're just basically telling it to be precise and concise, asking this question, and we want it to return citations and images. So let's go ahead and test this. Executing. So we got it back. Let's check it out. Um, yesterday on June 21st, 2024, Taylor Swift reunited with Prince William at the Air Tour in London. All right. Um, okay. One thing I'm curious about is where we would actually see the citations and the... Okay, so I just searched perplexity. Can I access citations and images when accessing the perplexity API? So currently, citations and images through perplexity API is limited and not fully available to all users. Here are some key points uh, regarding these features. Closed beta. So basically, it's saying it's closed in closed beta. Uh, users interested in this feature need to apply for access by filling in a form and describing their use case. Yeah, so essentially, unless, you know, unless it's been recently updated, unless this is wrong, I guess you can't access the citations and images yet, even though it says that here, I guess it's just cause it's in beta. Um, but yeah, if you, if, if I, if maybe if you're watching this in the future, you can at this point, or maybe I'm just missing something here. So if you, if I am, let me know in the comments down below, but from what I see here, as well as what perplexity is saying, um, it's saying that you can't do it yet unless you're in the beta program, which I think would be nice. I may even apply through that form to see if I can get access to the citations because I like knowing where this information comes from. Uh, I like to fact check if I'm leveraging things as well as to like, uh, it's just nice to know, um, in general, but either way, this is a lot better than when you're doing research, um, than just using the open AI API because you can get live data, accurate data and, um, really good stuff. So other than that, guys, I hope you got some value from this video. If you did make sure to drop a like below, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. We upload videos every single day on AI news, AI tutorials, how to leverage automation, make.com, NAN, excuse me, go high level marketing, etc. how to grow your business. And also too, if you haven't already joined our free stride community, stridecommunity.com link for that will be down below. We have about 750 members, I believe in our Facebook and discord channel. So Facebook group, and then also two guys, check out my book, client acquisition code. It's an in-depth book showing you how to get clients leveraging AI for your business. If you're in B2B, if you're uh, AI enthusiast, uh, entrepreneur, etc., marketing agency, coach, consultant, definitely want to check out that book link for that will be in down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, accelerate your stride. Take care.